Hello everyone, Dark Plane here, back playing some more AFK Arena. And in this video, I want to look at the new patch notes that Lilith has added. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It'll help you get notified on when I post new videos. So let's get on with the video. Okay, these are patch notes 1.75. Lilith added these not too long ago, so yeah, I'm getting at these patch notes pretty early here. And at first, first they always start off with saying that they're going to give us 1,200 diamonds when we log into the game after the update has completed. So yeah, that's that's always a good thing there. Okay, so I'm going to uh, start with the new heroes here. New Celestial Hero, Halus the Crafter. So yeah, uh, I believe this is the... Uh, hero that was on the Dolly's Corner, the Celestial Hero. Hero, It's going to be Halus the Crafter. New hero Halus the Crafter will be available to test play. So they're going to be giving us this new hero to test play as always. And also added the Bountiful Trials event for Halus the Crafter, as well as the Arena of Trials event, Guild Trials. So as always, they're also added adding the Bountiful Trials and the Guild Trials for this new Celestial Hero. So nothing really new here for the new heroes. And let's move on to new additions and optimizations. Added a new skin for Flora, the Serene Promise, called the Sweet Prancer, which can be purchased for a discounted price at the wardrobe during a limited time period. This skin will be removed from the wardrobe after the event. So, it looks like... I was at least right for Flora. There was, there was going to be a new skin for Flora. At least I was right about that one. Added a new skin for Thorn, the Fallen King, called Treacherous Tyrant, which can be obtained during the Noctis and Amarum event. This skin will be purch purchasable from the wardrobe after the event. So it looks like instead of Odin, they're also giving, they'll be giving us a skin for Thorn instead of Odin. I was right on one of them, but I was wrong on the other one, so that's that's fine, though. Thorn's a good hero. New mode added called Cursed Realm. Players on all servers with the highest resonating crystal level can enter it through the Guild Grounds Hellscape. So it looks like there'll be a new mode. It'll be called Cursed Realm. Players on all servers with the highest resonating crystal level. So we'll we'll just have to see what that looks like. Uh, when it comes, when it comes live on the server. That looks, that, that sounds pretty cool though. A new event added called Noctis Animarum Treats. It will be available from local time. During the event, players can gift candy to visiting heroes and earn rewards. So this new event, Noctis Animarum, you have to, uh, gift candy to visiting heroes. And then you'll earn rewards from that, it looks like. It sounds pretty cool. Just see how that looks like for uh, AFK Arena. New event added called Engraving Rewind. It will be available. Uh, players can access it after reaching Chapter 22. During the event, players can choose to reset a hero's eternal engravings. So this is the event Lilith was talking about where... After they said they were going to release the engravings for the uh, Graveborn, that they would ha have an event where uh, people can reset their engravings. So if you uh, put engravings on a hero that you didn't want to, that you uh, thought at first would be a good choice, this, this is the event for you, essentially. You'll be able to reset a hero's engravings. The Vault of Time season will begin at local time. Uh, the following changes have been made. Rankings and Militia Accolades are available this season. The odds of obtaining Militia Accolades and the price of purch purchasable items have been adjusted. Improved uh, starting position logic to prevent situations in which too few players are assigned to a route. The guild in first place will be displayed in Bard Tales. And improved the Militia Honors artistic effects. So it looks like they'll be adding the Vault of Time here, which means there's going to be another uh, Abyssal Expedition. 
This time, this one is not going to be a beta version like the last one was. This one is going to be the real deal. So you'll be in rankings and militia accolades as well. So yeah, this this is the real deal. This is the uh, real deal after the beta that they had a couple months ago. The Abyssal 8 event begins on local time. Players can access it after unlocking the Dismal Maze. Rules regarding team formations have been optimized. So it looks like they'll be uh, bringing the Abyssal Aid uh, back. I believe they had this event before. So I believe they're bringing the Abyssal Aid back to AFK Arena. So yeah, we'll just see how that how that event looks like again. Added the adventure, the Road Home to the Voyage of Wonders feature. So as always, they'll be adding another Voyage of Wonders. This one is called the Road Home. Added Cinder Grottoes to the Wandering Balloon, which can be unlocked by completing stage 29-20 of the campaign and by completing 60% of the Wandering Balloon. So it looks like they're adding Cinder Grottoes to the Voyage of Wonder, or the Wandering Balloon. They're adding Cinder Grottoes to the Wandering Balloon. Players can now climb up to 690 floors within each of the four faction towers simultaneously. The difficulty of some floors between 630 and 660 have also been reduced. So there's, they're just pretty much adding new floors to the four faction towers, which is always cool. Reduce the difficulty of certain floors between 1100 and 1150 of the King's Tower, and also added more floors, bringing the total number of floors to 1200. So it looks like also they'll be adding more floors to the King's Tower. Reduce the difficulty of certain floors between 420 and 440 of the Infernal Fortress and Celestial Sanctum, and also added more floors, bringing the total number of floors to 460 for both towers. So just like the other floor, other towers, they're going to be adding more floors to the Graveborn and Celestial, or Hypogean and Celestial Towers as well. We have 460 floors for both of them. A newly added Climber's Pack can be unlocked by passing the 220th floor of the King's Tower. After purchasing, you will receive a large amount of diamonds after passing the specified number of floors in the King's Tower. So it looks like they're going to be adding a, a pay-to-win pack here. It's going to be connected to the King's Tower. You'll be given a lot of diamonds. It so sounds, uh, first thoughts, it sounds pretty similar to the uh, advancement rewards. Uh, new addition to Heroes for Hire, the Prince of Persia, Kings of King of Blades, is now available. So it looks like they're going to be adding Prince of Persia to the Heroes for Hire, which is really good there. That's really good. People can now get uh, Prince of Persia. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the hero adjustments and changes, starting with Mishka, the Wild Child. Fix the performance issues with her ultimate ability is used in certain circumstances. The actual combat effect remains unchanged. So they're just fixing some performance issues with Mishka here. We'll see how well she see how well this uh fix goes. And fix the issue in which some heroes were incorrectly identified as shielded in certain circumstances. So there's another fix. This is a fix to all uh all heroes who had this. So they're not specifying which hero specifically, but there's so it sounds like there were quite a few heroes that had this bug, but it's good that they're fixing this here. And that's pretty much uh, Patch Notes 1.75. Some things I'm looking forward to are uh, the new events, uh, the Voyage of Wonders, the Wandering Balloon, looking forward to those as well. Looking forward to the Abyssal Expedition, see how that one, see how well I do in that one. Yeah, and engraving rewind sounds really cool as well. And yeah, the, and also the new skins for the heroes sound really cool as well. So if you haven't already, please subscribe, like, and comment. Anything you want to see me do in AFK Arena, and I might do it in the future. And also, thank you guys for watching.